Morning. What? How's your eyes? Good. Dax is home with pink eye. Starting to become a professional sick kid. Dad and BJ are changing the fuel filter on a skid steer. Hopefully get some trenching done. So our 242 started missing a little bit. We don't know if the... Remember how good this creeper was? Huh? Remember how creeper here was? Not really. Uh, especially the left bottom. The very thing I got slow to go, I think. So I'm hoping to use this to trench water line in, but we had a miss going, so hopefully that fuel filter will take care of it. We'll see. I only have about 4,000 feet of it. Right there on that trailer to trench in. Woo, cold out there. So we're going to move in the trailer load of water line. That way it's uh, a little bit more flexible when we go to actually put the water line in. This is water line going to my house. So still no water at the house site. Apparently they want that. I guess my wife wants running water. Strange. This water line's been sitting on this trailer for a year and a half. So I thought we were gonna put it in about a year and a half ago. Spring of 22, I think I bought it. Each one of them is a 500 foot roll. the skid steer now obviously I guess put some fuel on then we're gonna hook up this trencher we got a Boehner boom trencher that's the name of this thing it's the only trencher I've ever seen where you drive forward instead of pulling it backwards and it means that we've got about 4,000 feet of line to install it's gonna be pretty handy there goes dad he started trenching for me while I was getting some stuff in order I'm gonna walk across here because I can't stand tracking up a field any more than I have to. Frost is starting to thaw out, so definitely would have tacked it up a little bit. People always ask, do you get cold weather here? We do. It's just always hovering between freezing and thawing. So this morning it was 20, now it's 40. And it'll probably be like that off and on for a while, and then we'll get a cold snap where we'll drop down to zero for like a week. And then it'll be 45 or 50 the next week. Just always freezing and thawing a little bit. Never freezes very deep. So this water line we're running is only 36 inches deep. And that's as deep as it has to go. That's, that's the mandate or the guidelines or whatever. Now that trencher will go, I think, I think it'll go five feet deep, something along those lines. Now the one thing I don't like about it, and you can kind of see dad's kind of picking the unit up, like the skid steer up darn near. You can't really see much from the cab as far as like if you're on those carriage wheels or not. And uh, yeah, it just kind of happens that way sometimes. but it's just a little bit slower than the speed of smell. We're crawling. But I think it's faster than digging with an excavator. If nothing else, it's gonna be way easier to clean up than an excavator. Or quicker to backfill, you're just throwing less dirt out, so. And when we string this water line with our tile, uh, tile stringer, it works out so smooth and this tight trench just slides right in there. And uh, yeah, it worked out really well when we did that for the the barn, the shop. I uh, see our septic tank. Won't be long, we'll be able to take a dump on the new throne. Well, if this goes any faster. Very slow. I think it's getting slower. This is uh, my cousin Ben's Kubota. He wasn't using it, it was parked just down the, just down the driveway. Turns out the fuel filter did not fix the problem. 
have lost parts. That gauge wheel is what keeps us at depth, and without it, the chain is pulling the, the trencher into the ground further and further, so I need, uh, need Brother BJ to help me set that back in there. There's two bolts that go into those holes and tighten it. They're still on there. They just work loose a little bit, so not a hard fix. It's just I need some wrenches, and I need a helping hand. Still going. So one thing I don't like about the Kubota, it pulls this way pretty hard. And when I try to push it this way, we just spin this track. Kind of making it difficult to go the direction I'm trying to go. Okay. Well, we will have to uh, make this a three day affair apparently. We're over halfway. So should finish this up tomorrow. Morning. So today we are continuing this water line project. But first, BJ's getting started spreading lime. And I've got to uh, help him move some stuff around, help dad move some stuff around. We've got to get a front end loader over to the field that he's spreading lime on. That's what we're gonna do. thing I have to do before we get started trenching I am in the little Massey Ferguson the 5s this tractor was a demo from Massey Ferguson and that demo has ended uh, it's being picked up today so I've got to take it up to the shop and um, get it cleaned up a little bit so they can pick it up yeah I think she's ready to go back a little dirty a little dirty so a dealer is picking that up and uh, they said they are getting it detailed so would have cleaned it up, but well, I didn't know they were coming after it till about an hour ago. So, guess it is what it is. Hate, hate to send a tractor back that dirty. Guess what? We'll to make an exception this time, because the the dealer's about here. Well, that's one of the things that stopped us dead in our tracks with the trencher. Big old water line right there. Used to be a house, right in amongst that divot over there. And yeah, we found an old water line going to it. That would have been from the 40s probably. Old one, old one. Now we gotta smooth this up some. I definitely thought we'd be a little further than this today. Dad is out there turning the hot laps in the sassy mass. He's trying to clean off the tires. But I feel like it's going to be a futile effort. I think we're just going to have dirty concrete. The battery that raises and lowers our, uh, our trailer, our stringer cart, it's dead. We've charged that thing for like a day and a half. It's still dead. Look at that battery's junk. Back that thing in here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to try charging again or get a new battery tomorrow, but... We got a whopping 500 feet of pipe in the ground. I was hoping to do 300 or 3,000 and be done. But it didn't happen. It's definitely changed plans for tomorrow. We are going to be doing a tillage video tomorrow. I don't know if we'll make it or not now. Might be, uh, might be doing this. We got rain Sunday coming. The stringer cart out and get ready. That way when Dad gets back, we can string some, some uh, water line. That's the dirtiest this floor's ever been. Oh well, it'll happen again. Probably happen here in about an hour. Or, well, three or four hours when we get done. Right there by your hand.
and got a couple more strands of pipe or rolls of pipe and we're taking the excavator down the little mini because we got some buried treasure to unearth also it might be easier if at our connections we just dig this out with the excavator a little bit because kind of a pain in the butt I don't know maybe not we'll see we definitely got to unbury some things what I'm assuming it is is old water line going to one of these buildings that we've hit a couple of those already and dug them up and now yeah, they're just three inch water lines fun times yeah this wasn't how I planned on spending my Saturday supposed to be going to Big Mike's scuzzy sweater party scuzzy Christmas sweater party I believe is the name of it back filling right here at this curve because well this stuff is going to cave well we've reached a stopping point we're to the road and uh, instead of digging through this road in the dark we're gonna just unhook the stringer cart and call her quits for the night even if uh, we didn't get where I wanted to get I'm out of connectors well, I got one left and I got we had over a thousand feet left to run, so we're short. Well, folks, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll see you in the next one.